Any New Yorker with health insurance can access Narcan, known generically as naloxone, at over 2,000 participating pharmacies statewide without a prescription through the state's NCAP, Naloxone Copayment Assistance Program. Insurance covers the cost of the medicine, and the state covers the cost of any copay of up to $40. In order to be able to effectively administer this life-saving opioid overdose reversal drug, pay close attention to the following Narcan training video. You could also get the intermuscular injection form of naloxone from the pharmacy. With these kits, all you do is you grab one of the intermuscular injection syringes, peel it out of the package, get one of your naloxone vials, you pop off this orange cap, and then what you do is you just get this green guard here, get that out of your way to begin with, then you uncap your syringe, then you take your naloxone vial, if you notice the label doesn't go all the way around. I always tell people to look where the break in the label is so we can see the liquid. Then you insert the tip of the syringe through the rubber membrane in the cap of the vial. Don't go all the way up. You want to make sure the tip of the syringe is in the liquid. And then you want to draw the entire contents of that vial into this syringe. Since this is an intermuscular injection, it's not going to matter if there's air in this syringe. And this injection is actually going to go into a person's shoulder or the front of their thigh. You can go right through a person's clothing, and you don't have to worry about dead air. So what you just do is you do a quick jabbing motion, and you insert the entire contents of the syringe into the person. Once you've administered Narcan in this formulation, you would then assume that the tip of that needle is contaminated with an infectious disease. That's what this guard is here for. You could either just push it closed and click it, and that protects it from poking somebody. What I would I usually tell people to do is take it on a hard surface and actually break the needle point into this, which traps it pretty good. And even after that, we would suggest that you dispose of it in a sharp container. And if you don't have one of those, a coffee can, laundry detergent bottle, or um, a Mountain Dew bottle will do. 